Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. <laughs> oh, I swear I'm better at back in a trailer than that. Damn, where's the gas cap for this? Of course it's on the other side, after I back the trailer in. <laughs> So it took us a little bit longer than what we were planning on to get here, but what happened? we're finally here. Life, <laughs> like just everything, we took forever. Oh, dude, I'm I'm so pumped that it's here. <laughs> like, 11 years, man. Dude, I 11 years. It. My mom had drawn that unit the year before, and I went out there with her, and we were just seeing all kinds of 150, 160 inch bucks every day. It was fun. She got a ton of stocks in. It was just a really good unit. I had enough points to draw it, and so when Eric and I were at the ATA show, yeah, that's right. We were talking, and he's like, "Yeah, I got 11 points. I don't know what to do." And I was like, "I got 11 points, and this is what I'm doing. You should put in. We'll do a hunt together." And he was like, "Sweet." Done. Done. Was that the first time? That we was met? the first time we actually met in person. Oh, yeah. And like five minutes later, we're planning this hunt together. It was awesome. <laughs> We're already seeing some really cool bucks, um, and it's just driving. Our plan is to get up here. There's a little high point and set up in glass a little bit, see if we can find something. So on the way up here, Tanner and I were talking about how he, all he wants to do is find some nice sheds, and I was talking about how bad I am at shed hunting. I just glassed up the first shed. <laughs> I beat the master. It will never happen again. I'm just, this is the first time I've ever glassed a shed. Okay, so Tanner's laughing at me. Eye. I know you can see with the naked eye, Tanner. I don't care. I glassed up a shed. <laughs> we're, we're kind of cruising on top of a I don't plateau. Know, plateau, right? yeah. yeah. And so we're, we're on top of everything. Just right off the, the edge a little bit, we see this herd of, herd of bucks. And sure enough, we're like, meh, let's go after them. And I hadn't hunted deer before. I'd, I'd been an elk hunter almost exclusively. A this buck. was my first mule deer hunt, period. Yeah. Without see if they're going to stop anytime soon for a, a stop. It's worth looking. You want to crop to the tree so we're tucked in. Just get it out low. You know, I, I hunted a little bit in high school and in college uh, with a rifle, was never actually successful at all. And then it wasn't until after college, I got back to the mountains here in Colorado and saw the, the old bow of my dad's in the garage. And I'm like, well, and I mean, this is a, one of the original compound bows there, there even was. I mean, it was, I don't know, it's probably from 1980. Oh, well, let's go find some more. Let's do it. Go find some more. I had no idea what kind of bow this was and I found broadheads in an old baby jar and and so that was kind of the start of it went out hunting that year got just incredible experiences my blood was boiling out of fear almost got killed by lightning and just incredible sunsets with with elk on the mountainside um, never was any in any real situation though to kill an elk but it was a blast I was I was hooked right then So 
bent down. We're bent down by a smaller bug. He's 80 yards that way. So Matt's crawling up looking for a bigger bug. I'm staying here keeping an eye on that smaller bug. He seems to have calmed down. He's not staring up here anymore. But even, like he calmed down after he saw you totally. and you started calling yeah. like he was there he, he was, was cool. looking the other way and stuff you know when he stood and then up he caught your movement is when at one point was in the wide open yeah he yeah. caught your movement and then he was he was looking at he was like what are you doing what so i thought they were yeah. looking at me what, the whole time doing, let's man. boogie let's, let's go let's go cool. find another one dude hey we're having fun totally that was Heart, sweet, heart's man. pumping that was, that was fun. sweet So we had this nasty thunderstorm just start pounding us with lightning and rain and we were holed up for probably an hour. Yep. And then you walked out to glass and that's when you found these bucks. Yeah, I walked out to glass and found those bucks probably just getting a little excited from the cold temperature and yeah. walking around a little bit. Um, and then sure enough, they were in an okay situation. But again, it was like, ah, I'm just not used to those trees like where it's like they can see any movement they, they just they're so comfortable up there but it's so stockable too it's, it's just so fun and it feels like we're in the wide open i don't know if it felt that way to you but like we're in this sagebrush sparse cedars kind of hanging around and i'm like if this deer just looks over here he's gonna see us and all of a sudden we just then stop. all of a sudden we just stop boom there he is um and what was it? I, I think I ended up looking under the tree, looking past the the bark there, and you kind of see his antlers moving around. And I'm like, okay, there he is. I don't know how I'm gonna get any, any closer. Um, I needed to move to the right to clear the branches on the tree. And all the while, like all he had to do is see, like look, and he would have seen me move. There was nothing except for those thin branches blocking us at that point. Um, so I was kind of surprised, and I'm like, he's going to see me any second here. Arranged him. I think he was about 60 yards-ish at that point. And, um, and I'm like, this guy's going to blow out any second. Draw back, anchor. I don't know what came over me. But I just sent it, and, like, <laughs> I wasn't even aimed on him. It was the worst shot of my just life. Just buck fever, dude. Total just buck straight up, straight like, up buck fever. And it's funny when you're stalking like that. So this buck was feeding, right? Mm -hmm. And had no idea we were there. But in your mind, in our mind, we're like, oh, man, he's going yeah. to blow out. He's going to blow out. <laughs> oh, man. He was just feeding. He had no idea you were here. I know. We could have got up farther. No, I could not have got farther. Could have gone right there. No way, he would have seen us. You think he would have seen you? Yeah. All right. Ah, oh, dude. I think so. Patience. Yeah, I'm the target. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That's and and really, that shot <laughs> helped a lot too to to calm the nerves and, and allow me to focus as well. No more like messing around. We got a job to do. Let's get it done that is what helped refocus me for for the next opportunities
it was probably a couple hours later. We're setting up on the spot glass and we glass these bucks and there's a nice buck in there. So we get around and we start stalking in. And in, in my mind, I remember running through and almost p- doing trial runs for, okay, when he gets up, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move my left leg here and not make any noise. I'm gonna move my right leg here, not make any noise, pick up my bow and then put on my release um, to the string. And so, so I was going through all the movements of exactly what I needed to do when that moment came so that I would be ready and I wouldn't have to think about it. I could just go on autopilot. I'd only gone through it mentally in my head a couple times and then all of a sudden he stands up just like that. And it was perfect. Uh, he stands up, walks out just to the right of the tree and I'm, I'm going through the movements exactly as I'd planned and, and let her rip and and I was like, boom, they're done. And I just remember watching it go in a little bit back, not even a little bit, it seemed like gut shot, really. Um, and I'm like, what on earth? You gotta be kidding me. And you know, I knew it was a lethal shot, but I didn't know what the next 12, 24 hours was gonna look like. And well, we were in this U-shaped canyon, and so you guys were on one edge, so then you guys decided to hike around to the other side to where you could glass across yep. and try to see see if you could find the buck there. So that was our plan for the rest of the day. I had some bucks below me, some other deer and stuff, and we're like, we're not doing anything until we find this deer. We're gonna just sit here and glass, and that's what we did for a couple hours yeah. until it got dark. And mm-hmm. right, I'd just say, last you light. guys were hiking, right at last light. Yeah. I'm sitting there looking through the spotter, just, grid searching everything with with matt and i go matt there's the antler sure there's, enough. there's the antler eagle he, eye lane comes through and all i could see was just in this nasty brush pile was just this antler stood just this little section of velvet just mm-hmm. sticking out I was like that's velvet finally after we watched it for about five minutes then i saw him put his head down i was like okay that's the buck I think we might just need another angle. Just yeah, I say we go get. I yeah, say we could be able to see him. If yeah, no. Get up. another angle, and then we'll start making our way slowly up there for sure. My well, thought would be go to where we last saw him, but you see how there's that tree right there? Maybe get to that tree, glass a little bit more, and then work up there with an arrow knocked. And then if for some reason he's not there, then we'll go back and work the blood trail. Yeah, that that's sense. my thought on it. Just go to where we saw him last. He's down, baby. Let's go up there slow. Oh, he's down. <laughs> no. He's done, bud. He's done. Woo! <laughs> yeah, baby. Yes. He's thick, dude. He's got some mass. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm telling you, that guy. Four point. Three point. Three by four. Four by three.
to a new mountainside. And right away we started glassing up bucks and we relocated the trailer park buck. He's got another buck with him that's bigger. They're both rubbed off now. There's just a ton of bucks in here. So we're just gonna hunker down and glass them. They're only 300 yards away right now. So hopefully they can bed somewhere in a spot where we can put a stock on and make it happen last morning. Yeah, that's when it was my turn and I started to put a little bit more pressure on myself on it. It was way easier when I was just, we were trying to get Eric a buck. I was on him. I was on him. That little buck's still right there. Let's go down. And it was just so perfect. And Tanner's, Tanner stays 10 yards behind me. I pull, I get to within 20 yards and I'm like, okay, dude, you got to get up. But his head was behind the stage brush so perfectly that he had no idea. And so then I just start walking. I get to him about 20 yards, draw back as he stands up. And right when I'm putting my pin on, I'm squeezing back, he runs out. I'm like, oh, and I go, bop, uh -huh. bop. And he's like, what's that? <laughs> he stops and looks back and I rush my shot. And I, on camera, you can actually hear me say, oh, shh. And I made a, I just, I shot him too far forward than what I thought. And so I know I smack him. And the first thing that goes through my mind is I just made a marginal shot on a deer. I need to be home to go to work tomorrow. Yeah. And now I'm going to be stuck in totally. this deer. Thank God I was shooting what I was shooting on that broadhead that just had that huge cutting diameter. He gets up on the hill and I just see blood just pumping. Like, I mean, pumping, pumping out. out of this animal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he starts going around and turn back. I look at Tanner. I'm like, he's going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I just, I went from a high of I'm shooting to a low of I just made a bad shot. Yeah. To, Oh, there he is. And he goes down. And I was oh, like, man. did that just happen? It was, and you guys Such are up on the hill. Like, watching ah! the whole thing like, what? It and was so awesome. That was yeah, it. It was yeah. great. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.